In this video, we're gonna quickly go over how to use the masking tools in Beautybox in Adobe Premiere to isolate one person or one part of the frame. This can be useful if you only want to apply Beautybox to one of the people in a shot, or if you want to apply different Beautybox settings to each person in the shot. So for this shot, I only want Beautybox on the subject on the left's face. I'm gonna apply Beautybox to the shot and click Analyze Frame in the effect controls to detect the skin tone, and then turn on Show Mask. This shows white areas where Beautybox is initially detecting skin tones, and both faces and the pink sweater, and then a little bit of this shirt are all being detected. I can adjust the hue range, saturation range, and value range sliders to try to remove parts of the shot that I don't want Beauty Box on. And this is doing a good job of removing the shirt on the right, but I still have both faces. So since these are two people who are on opposite sides and I know they're gonna stay there, I can really easily use a mask to isolate one of them. In Premiere, the Beauty Box masking controls are at the top above the smoothing amount. We have videos that go over masking in After Effects, Resolve, and Final Cut that we'll link to in the description. I can click the circle or square to create a mask with that shape and then drag the corners or the whole shape to where I want it, or I can use the pen tool to draw a mask from scratch. Anything outside the mask, Beauty Box is going to completely ignore, which is really easy to see with Show Mask turned on. You see the white and black areas inside the mask, and I can use Analyze Frame, the range sliders, and smoothing sliders. The rest of the shot is completely untouched. It's only affecting what's inside the mask. If I click Inverted, it's only affecting what's outside this area, so you can draw a mask around something in the background that has color tones similar to your subject's skin, and then invert it if you want to remove that. You can also draw multiple masks within one beauty box effect, like I could draw a mask around this face as well. But if you want to use different settings for each mask, like setting the mask area with analyze frame and the sliders or adjusting the smoothing sliders, you want to apply a second beauty box effect and draw a mask there. Then you can apply separate beauty box settings to each person. So I'm drawing a mask in my second beauty box effect around my second person, and then can use all the controls in Beautybox to set how much smoothing and other options are applied in that area only. But let's delete that one for now. I only want Beautybox on this person's face on the left and the sweater she's wearing is so close to the skin tone that it's impossible to isolate with the Beautybox controls. I can adjust this mask so that it cuts off the sweater. And since they aren't moving very much, that might be okay. I'm drawing this mask with a little bit of wiggle room around the sides and top and then cutting off at the sweater. I can adjust the mask feather to make the mask edge smoother. If I try to draw the mask exactly around the head, I can see that she's gonna move in and out of the mask area as I go through the sequence and in this case, you can try using the tracker by placing the playhead at the beginning of the clip, setting the mask, and then clicking the track forward button. And Premiere will try to track the movement and adjust the mask automatically. The more a person turns their head or moves around, the less accurate this is gonna be. We have a video covering how to track specific parts of the face, like cheeks or the forehead, which can be used on any part of the face and goes a lot more in depth into tracking that we'll link to in the description. Also, this subject has a big difference between their hair tone and their skin tone. If someone has hair color similar to their skin tone color, it's gonna be a lot harder to set beauty box to detect the face and nothing else. So it depends on the shot, background color, clothing, hair, but a lot of the time you can just use a quick mask to remove other people or background objects and only apply Beauty Box to one person's face. If you wanna try a free demo of Beauty Box, you can go to our website, digitalanarchy.com and click on the demos page. We also have demos of all of our other plugins. And if you have any questions, you can send us an email at cs at digitalanarchy.com.